Hello, hello everyone. Brittany here from VivaciousViews.com. Today we are headed to the Cracker Barrel to eat. I've been craving some fried chicken since I moved to Florida and we don't even have a KFC near us on the island. So we're headed to Cracker Barrel to get my southern chicken fix, see their new fall menu, and check out some of the Halloween finds in the Old Country store. Here is a look over the Cracker Barrel menu. They have a pretty big menu at Cracker Barrel. Let's start with the down home daily deals. Wednesday broccoli and cheddar chicken, Thursday turkey and dressing, Friday, Saturday and Sunday they do different meals. And then they have breakfast all day. And let's just pause right here. New for the fall menu, they have the biscuit Benny, they have pancake tacos, and they have the Cracker Barrel Country Boy breakfast. In the middle section here, they have the Cracker Barrel samplers. They have the signature fried chicken, which is what I'm here for. They have Cracker Barrel favorites, which include the country fried steak, hand fried chicken tenders. The fried catfish here is very good. But like I said, I'm here for that Southern fried chicken with the two sides. Over to the right is the home cooked classic starting at $9.99 southern suppers and all of the vegetables and sides so if you wanted to pause and take a look at all the sides that they have here and then on the back is the kids menu barrel bites oh they also sell alcohol here we came at christmas time and i had a glittery strawberry mimosa i think it was i'll link that video in the description down below but here's a look over some of the alcohol mimosas beers some wines and desserts that they have then they have the barrel bites for $9.99. They also have these $6 take home menus. So that's a good idea. And on the very back is the weekday lunch features. They have some country salads, sandwiches and burger platters and desserts. So a really big menu here at Cracker Barrel. We got a mixture of the biscuits and the cornbread. I also added apple butter for 50 cent. Super excited about that. Cause like I said, since we've moved to Florida, I haven't had a lot of country cooking. So I'm excited to get my Southern Eats in. Steven's playing this little game, which is super hard. This, this game is very hard. Comment down below if you know the strategy of this game. There's definitely some strategy to be had here. Here is the southern fried chicken I ordered. It comes with four pieces of bone-in fried chicken with honey, served with two country sides. I went with the mashed potatoes and brown gravy, and then also I got the broccoli and cheese casserole, and this is new for fall, new on the fall menu. My sister makes one at the holidays that I absolutely love, so let's see if it <laughs> tastes like hers. Steven ordered the sirloin steak sampler, which comes with sirloin steak with your choice of country fried shrimp or fried or grilled chicken tenders. He went with the fried shrimp, comes with lemon and cocktail sauce. This also comes with two country sides. He went with fried okra and chicken and dumplings. Take a look at the inside of his steak, looks really good. It's got those sauteed onions and mushrooms on top as well and then came with the brown gravy. Our meal was absolutely delicious. I definitely got my fried chicken fix and we have so much to take home. There is so much leftovers, which I'm stoked about. I'm always excited about leftovers. Now let's see what we can find in the old country store. It's always nostalgic for me checking out the stuff in the store because I've been coming to Cracker Barrel since I was a kid. My grandmother loved this place. So this was a favorite. She loved all the unique stuff that was in the store. We used to buy her a lot of stuff for Christmas from here. So, um, so yeah, a little nostalgic for me being in Cracker Barrel. There's always such unique candy in here. Oh look, they actually have a barrel of crackers. This is what Cracker Barrel got their name for. They used to ship the crackers in these large barrels and then would use the barrels to put checkerboards on to play checkers in the warehouses. Pretty neat. All these different mugs. They have Disney mugs, Yellowstone, Hogwarts. Here is some more of the unique candies that they have. Coconut patties. They have the Pocky sticks. Is that how you say a Pocky? They have the Werther's. Oh, I love the Werther's. 
pig bag of cookie dough bites. That's my jam when I go to the movie theater. Cookie dough bites. Ooh, they have these strawberries and cream cream savers here. Haven't seen those in a while. They have the apple butter that we were eating earlier, which was so tasty. Might buy a jar of this to take home. They have the cobbler, so you can make the pies. They have their biscuit and dumpling mix, corn muffin mix, pancake mix. They have their syrups and their coffees. Oh look, they have a shroom mushroom slicer. They have a ramen kitchen sponge, a gnome kitchen sponge, avocado, <laughs> cute. Prettiest Christmas stuff in here. There's one of those ice pop things we've been wanting. A Dutton Ranch skillet. <sighs> a Dutton Ranch skillet. I guess they probably have the Yellowstone spices and stuff in here too. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, look, it's got the, like, that's the cover of the Cracker Barrel menu. Home style. Cracker Barrel logo. Are there, is it, the imprint's not on in on the inside of the pan though. Well, that's cool. If you're a diehard Yellowstone fan, leave me a comment. I am. Me and my mom love it. How cute. Grandpa's little sidekick. Yeah, the kid stuff's cute. Where's the, here's all the toys. Gigapet. Gigapet, babe. Giant checkers. Here is the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. There's the Halloween town. Where every day is Halloween. This is candy dispenser. Huh. You just like the bag opens. I was gonna say it doesn't look like it comes out of its mouth or anything. That one does too, it says candy dispenser. There's a sticker art it's puzzle, like that's anime. cool. It's Japanese, they go right to right. Back and forth. You see the sticker book? Bon bonus, it glows in the dark puzzle. It's a sticker. sticker art puzzle. I've never seen that before. So all the stickers are in the back. Oh, awesome. That looks hard. That does look hard, but that'd be so much fun. Oh, reminds me kind of like a paint by number almost a little bit. Yeah. But look at this track. Adorables, Nightmare Before Christmas includes eight figurines. Oh. Look how cute Zero is. <laughs> Little plush. <laughs> Those are really cute because our heads are so big. <gasps> you need that in your life. Movie and theater, storybook, and projector. Well, that's really neat. Here is some of the Day of the Dead merch, some skeleton merch. We have the dancing skeletons pillow. Here is some fall candy, candy corn. Ugh, candy corn. <laughs> if you eat candy corn, comment down below. I'm really curious to see who actually likes candy corn. Ooh, villains, portrait of evil. Got some Halloween shirts, a witch with her pumpkin. They have some cute little baby and toddler outfits here with some accessories, some Halloween accessories. Haunted doorbell. We <laughs> better go over here. Here are some kid Halloween costumes. They have some Disney ones here. How cute. Look at these. Little pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. I like the metallic. That looks like some slime I had when I was little. What about a Halloween tree? I just noticed it's like a chandelier. Here is some Nightmare Before Christmas candy. There's some other Halloween candy here too. Gummy tray eyeballs? Serve eyes in your favorite drink. Ghoulish garnishes. That's kind of funny. Never seen that before. Ghostbusters. 
You're a wizard, Harry. Do these like switch you into your houses? Yeah, it's got the houses. Oh, it's got a wand. Like imprints. Collect all 12 critter cookies. We could make some of that at home. With, we saw those little eye things at Walmart. We could make some of that. We're going to head into Hobby Lobby now. Seeing all that fun fall and Halloween merch at Crackle Barrel. Made us want to stop by and see if we could find some fun merch for our new apartment. When we went to South Carolina recently, I picked up my Halloween tub. Um, it actually didn't fit when we moved down in the moving truck. So I brought down my Halloween stuff. Going to be going through that tote over the weekend. Hopefully get everything decorated soon for Halloween. Wow, there is a lot of pumpkins and kitchen supplies here. Looks like they've got all the dish rags, little pot holders. Everything on this row is 40% off. They're having a really good sale right now. They actually, it looks like they've, they've marked some stuff down even more. Give thanks and celebrate your blessings. Here is a sale sign right here that shows you all of the 40% off deals that you can get right now. Pumpkin row, garland row. Oh, here is football. Here's a little football section. I do need a new pot holder. Should we get this? They've got sweater weather. It's fall, y'all. They have the football dish strainer and tablecloths and garland. They have faith football and fall. <laughs> That's like live, love, laugh, right? But we are football people. Thankful for my human. Oh, should we get this for Nemo? Get him a little fall bandana. It's reversible. It's got the orange on the inside to represent Clemson. Ooh, I like this football tray. I think we're going to get this to put our chips and salsa and we do kind of charcuterie and chicken strips and all kinds of stuff for football season. So stay tuned for that. We are definitely uh, not just NFL. We are also college ball. Oh, my first season. How cute is that bib? Looks like this leads into more porch decor, outdoor yard decor. They've got the flowers. The sunflowers are really pretty. Some scarecrows. They also have wall decor here. Pumpkin patch, welcome to our home, hot cocoa bar. So these are all on sale as well. Wall decor for the fall. I like this welcome to our home with the interchangeable O. Hello friends. We've looked around all of Hobby Lobby. This is the only thing that remotely looks Halloween in here. Everything else is very fall decor, which I love, but I'm on a mission to find some more Halloween decor. This Bill's Home Centric was in the same shopping center as our Hobby Lobby, which I think this Bill's used to be Burke's and they changed the names. Fingers crossed they have some fun Halloween decor in here. Here are some boo signs. Till death do us part. Trick or treat. I like this happy Halloween light. Then they have these spider candlesticks here. So they do have a good bit more Halloween decor in this bills than they did at our local Hobby Lobby. The Halloween tree. Oh, and it's got a little ghosty. $24.99. Get that for my mom to put out at Halloween. I like these cute little baddie guys. Is that the kind you can freeze? Yeah, freeze and chill. It's got that gel in it that keeps it super cold. Here's a little spooky spider decor section with mugs and cups, wall decor. I like these mugs. Condiment bowl. Set up for ramekins. Yeah, put little dips in. Oh, they got a hocus pocus popcorn bowl. Broom squad just a bunch of hocus pocus. I like the dancing skeleton plates too. A little boo mug. I like this witch mug with the witch hat topper. 
$5.99. Eat, drink, and be scary. They have the Nightmare Before Christmas dish towels here. Really loving these. Boo to you. I want a Halloween mug though. Is this glow in the dark? They're icicle balls. <laughs> it's Jeepers Creepers, so they're zombies. They're zombies. You don't think that's cool? Four placemats for seven ninety nine. dollars I think that's really cool. Oh, yeah, like the spider web. Yeah, did you see the bowls? Popcorn bowls? Yeah. Dancing skeletons. Did you want to get meme something or something? That's what I was squeezing on. The peas? Three peas in a pod? Oh man, he would tear those individually up. Wow. He would devour that. What about this? See any treats or anything? Get him a dino? He's got this one, but it's orange. Says it's eco-friendly, but it looks like a turtle, and it's got a rope. But the way the material is, I feel like he wouldn't tear into this as as bad. Oh my gosh! Getting some little dumplings. How cute is that? Oh yeah, he would definitely destroy that. Look, babe, it's Alf. I don't think it's supposed to be Alf. What about something like this? Oh, look, they've got Halloween dog beds. Uh, $19.99. Oh, this one's $9.99. I like the idea of doing something like this with them. Where it's like a challenge. It helps them with their memory. There are lots of treat options here too. Chicken and biscuit recipe. Get him, he could be a little, a little candy corn or a little pumpkin. Here's a good selection of Halloween pillows. The haunted house, Hocus Pocus. About $14.99. Oh, that's cool. You can do the bones like it's buried in the yard. Mm. Look at the cute stitch skeleton dish towel. They've got a Mickey Mouse fall one here too. Oh, they got the flavors of fall collection. Oh, are these talk toys as well? There's a Mickey. <gasps> it's a Sanderson sister dog toy. Well, those are cute table scraps. Here's a little bit more wall decor and home decor at the checkout. Beware, trick or treat. I like the little succulent. Happy hauntings. I wanted to show y'all our shopping haul for today. We got Memes a new bed. This little bed was $9.99 and we're gonna put it in the bedroom. Memes, Memes, it's a bed, it's not for you to lick on. Can you bet? That's your bed, buddy. That's your bed. <laughs> That's your bed. So you want a toy? Is that what it is? You want a toy in? You want a little toy? Here in. You want a toy? No, that's not. No, that's your bed. I got you something to play with. <gasps> There's a toy. What is this guy? Popcorn pumpkin toy for dogs. <laughs> He's like hanging out of it. Memes. You like your new toy? You like your new toy? <laughs> this first Halloween toy of the year. We also picked up from Bill's this Nightmare Before Christmas dish towel set. It comes with a set of two, and these were $5.99. We also got this set of ramekins. They are Day of the Dead themed, $5.99 for a set of four. 
And for $5.99, I picked up this awesome bat mug. It's got the black outside with the glittery bats. The inside's purple. To go with this new hot cocoa topper that I found at Walmart, it's pumpkin spice. So I am very excited to try this. I'm going to use it on my coffee. I don't really drink a lot of hot cocoa, but new pumpkin spice. And from Hobby Lobby, we got this football oven mitt holder. It comes with a green striped dish towel, kind of like how the field would be. Let me get that out and show y'all what that looks like. And we also picked up this football little serving tray platter that'll be good for our football days um, whenever we're doing little finger foods and stuff. So this was regular $3.99. The oven mitt was regular $8.99 and those were 40% off today. So it ended up being $2.39 for the football tray and then $5.39 for the mitt. I want to open it up and see what it looks like. Here's a look at the football dish towel that comes with that oven mitt. It would be cooler if it had the numbers at the end, like an actual field, but you get the idea. Like I mentioned earlier, we have started putting out our fall and Halloween decor, our football decor. I bought my first Halloween merch, which was a outdoor rug for our front doorstep. And now I'm just going to be going through our Halloween tote, see what I can put out. We did go from a three bedroom, two bath house down to a one bedroom apartment. So some stuff will be left in storage, but stay tuned for our next video. I'll show you guys a lot more of the Halloween stuff that we put out at our apartment. Thank y'all all so much for watching and coming along on our little lunch date today to get my Southern Fried Chicken fix in, look at some Halloween finds in the Old Country store, and doing a little fall and Halloween shopping at Hobby Lobby and Bills. We'll be doing a lot more of that coming up here soon. If y'all haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are all about the fall and Halloween festivities, so lots of that coming your way. Y'all are all a bunch of sweet peas for watching, and we'll see y'all in our next video.